Hi, my name is Benjamin Norris, and we're having a look behind the Real Housewives of Melbourne. Scoopla, do you want to come and meet the ladies? So how do you get picked to be on a show like this? Do you get picked for being fabulous? Fabulous, absolutely, all the way. I think what, tr what they've done is really picked girls that are very different. Either somebody really likes me or somebody really doesn't like me. I'm, we've all got very different lives. I think there's, you've got to have a certain characteristic, a certain dynamic to be able to meet and mix with other women. We rock, we work hard, we're no nonsense, we're funny, we're hot. I'm not too sure. I think I was dropped in by those fabul fabulous uh, l ladies, my friends. Do you find that there's a huge expectation to live up to with the success of the US show? Oh, absolutely not. No way. We're going to crap all over the US show. Are you kidding? They don't even know what they're doing. Not really. I think Melburnians are just a lot of style. There's a lot of culture, the arts. We have a very different sense of humour to Americans, I think. It's different. It's not going to be like, you know, jump the table and, hey, I'm going to scratch your eyes out. It's got to go with the flow and see what happens. If you overthink things, I think that's where mistakes happen. Every series is a different flavour. Everyone's sort of expecting it to be very like America. Australians don't do shows like America. We have our own personality. We're not going to cat fight over the table with sharp fingernails. We're going to cut each other down with it's going to be a lot of fun. What do you think you'll bring to the table? Look, I have a very grounded story. I'm a very straightforward person. I'm probably a little bit more flamboyant. What I'm going to bring is I'm a working mum. I'm a very even person. I'm not someone who actually gets ruffled very easily. Women can be strong and that they can have a great life. I love mocking myself. I've worked very hard to get my fabulous lifestyle. I love listening to two sides of every story and making my own decision. I don't want to say that I'm any better than anybody else. Well, we all have very different personalities. No one controls me. It's interesting to throw six women together who don't necessarily know one another and see what happens. They were searching for women who were very opinionated, strong-minded, strong-willed. Now, would you be the one that maybe sort of puts the cat amongst the pigeons with the group? You could be right, you could be right, but I think, you know, we have to wait and see. And, you know, I'm going to be a bit cheeky about that. We'll see what happens. Do you get worried thinking, oh, who's going to bring the bitchy content to the table? A really scary thing that they've done to us at the end that they didn't tell us is that they threw a clairvoyant into the mix. That's Miss Jackie. So it's just going to be something else that slots in. And you're a, you're a psychic, aren't you? Professional psychic with a three-year waiting list, yes. But she has never caught a foot wrong. Well, I think she might be the one who throws the cat amongst the pigeons. Have you been able to predict some of the drama? Oh my God, she is the drama. No, she's very intelligent. I'm actually a barrister, so I deal in truth. She's a psychic, she deals in ideas. She really sort of stirs the pot. What I would throw in amongst the mix is fact, whereas she's throwing in ideas. Not sure if there's going to be that real bitch. They can do it, I'm not interested. Are you worried about what your husband might say with the show once it comes out, or are you just thinking, waltz and all, you'll just be yourself? No, not at all. He wouldn't care less. As long as we're having fun and, and enjoying it, why would he? No one controls me. At first, my husband said, what for? <laughs> not at all. My husband is behind me 100%. My boys are adults. They're 25 and 29, and they've already said all the worst things they could ever say to me, <laughs> so and this cannot get worse. He's totally behind it. He thinks it's fun and great, and who knows what can happen. You know, it could be an amazing thing. It could be, it could go anyway, and that's what the joy of it all is. What do you do to prepare for this? Because I know for me, I'd probably sit around and watch Aaron Spelling TV shows like Melrose Place. Um, not a great deal, actually. I've actually watched Mob Wives. No, I didn't, and we didn't have time. Did you do anything weird to sort of cultivate your time on the show? I meditated. Um, I did watch a few episodes. I've never watched the series, because I'm actually too busy. I'm, I'm really quite new to this. Really exciting. Now, can you give us any, like, a little bit of gossip? Like, what can we expect in this show? Is there anything that you can give away? Hmm. No, you'll have to watch. For more stars, gossip and hype, head to scoopla.com.